My family, according to the Department of Homeland Security Lawyers, they are saying that Prince Harry's immigration records should remain private. And any speculation of impropriety has always been unfounded. My family, back in September, a judge, a Trump appointed judge, Carl J. Phillips, had ruled that my family, Prince Harry's immigration records, are to remain private. Despite that, the Heritage Foundation which is being used as a proxy by the UK tablet media to harass Harry in the United States of America, where he lives with Megan, Archie, Lilibet, and has been living in the US for up to five years now. My family, UK media, want Harry Megan's. American dream to be over. They want everything that Harry and Meghan have been building for five years in the United States of America to come to an end by trying to find a way, a loophole to get Harry deported from the US and back to the UK by force. Because as you all know, blood royals are not supposed to leave the fold. Ever since Harry fled the UK, there has been an effort by UK media, my family, to find a way to force Harry back to the UK by force. And that's why, my family, whenever the, there's an event in the UK, the number one question always asked is, is Harry coming? Is Harry coming? Is Harry coming? Every single time. It's a huge push to force Harry back to the UK by force. Because he was never ever supposed to leave. The bullying and the abuse that Megan and Harry experienced, mostly Megan, at the hands of the UK media was meant to make Megan leave, not Harry. It's always been meant to make Megan leave, not Harry. And there's a huge push to find a way to force Harry back to the UK. Now, my family, however, you know, lawyers for the Department of Homeland Security are saying that Prince Harry's immigration papers should remain private. Now, my family, first of all, it is important to note this. Back in September, a judge already ruled, Judge Carl J. Phillips already ruled that Prince Harry's immigration papers are to remain private. However, Heritage was not happy about that. And my family, they are trying to definitely get an appeal to appeal the judgment by the judge to force the release of Prince Harry's immigration papers. As my family, they are looking for a loophole that they can use to apply so much noise to force Harry out of the US and back to the UK. Now my family, you know, that's why even you're seeing UK media, even going to Trump himself, to ask him to do them a favor, to force Harry back to the UK because they aren't content with the royals that they are left with back in the UK. Now, my family, let me read you what is being said. My family, now the Heritage Foundation, as you all know, sued the Department of Homeland Security, arguing that the public had the right to know whether Harry disclosed you know, my father, he took drugs, my family, in his life on his visa application. You know? And also on this issue 
having to do with the public. For example, the person who has been vocal in spearheading this case is none other than carnival of so-called expert Niall Gardner. Niall is someone who my family is regularly seen on British media outlets, making an appearance on British media my family outlets regularly. That's where Niall Gardner, my family, is mostly seen. Now, my family, Niall is a British, my family, citizen. However, he is going also to X and writing, Americans have every right in the world to know details about Harry's immigration records. And the guy who's saying that is British. My family. Also, who are the ones reporting about this uh, court case? British media outlets are the ones who are keenly interested in each and every single update from this case. They are keenly very interested. British reporters, or my family as Harry and Meghan would call them, carnival of so-called experts. They are the ones who are interested in this case while saying Americans have a right to know. <laughs> no. It isn't Americans who want to know details about Harry's, you know, visa status. It ain't Americans. My family, it is the UK public media. They are the ones who want to know. They are the ones who are desperate for Harry to be back in the UK and they suffered nothing to achieve that. Remember I told you all this and every day you're seeing this yourself with your own two eyes. UK media are unwilling to wait another 10 years to exploit the future generation of my family, of Rosemary family. They are unwilling to wait another 10 years to exploit the future Generation of rules. They want to exploit them now. And the fact is, it is Harry, Meghan, who sell papers. And my family, that's why even UK media refuse to leave Harry and Meghan alone. They're the only ones who get clicks. They're the only one family who whenever you talk about, they get engagement. And the tabloids are extremely desperate. You know? My family, so I continue my family. I'm, in, I'm not seeing CNN or CBS, ABC, American mainstream media outlets covering this nonsense. I'm only seeing members of Britain's Rorota covering this because they are the only ones who are interested. They're the only ones who are desperate, extremely desperate, for Harry to be forced back to the UK. Extremely desperate. Not a day goes by. I don't hear a carnival of so-called expert daydreaming about Harry being back in the UK. Not a day goes by. My family. Basically. They are saying and I quote. They argue that Harry must have either lied. Potentially threatening his future in America. Or been given favorable treatment, implying that the government did something wrong, which is not the truth, which is not the truth, my family. Here's what they want to do. They want to make so much noise. That's what they want. If they gain access to Prince Harry's immigration records and they find out that Prince Harry said that, for example, he had not taken my family, you know, illegal drugs, if they find that our family, what happens that they intend on making as much noise as possible, demanding that Prince Harry is forced out or kicked out of the United States of America? That's what they want to do. That's what they're trying to do, my family. And they're happy that Trump, my family, is now, you know, basically is going to be president of the United States of America. And they've got him... To make negative comments about Harry, 
about Megan. Even talk about this case by Heritage Foundation, which is a proxy being used by the UK tablet to harass Harry Megan in the United States of America. You know, as the firm and the media refuse to let Harry Megan and the kids live and work in peace. You know, my family yesterday, the trailer for Prince Harry's Polo series came out. And already I've seen tabloids attacking that already. Now, my family, that tells you really that there's a huge agenda to sabotage every commercial venture that Harry Meghan partake in. There's a huge move to sabotage Harry Meghan's lives in the United States of America. Because the ones who bully Harry Meghan are desperate to have their victims, the people that they have been bullying around them to continue what they've been doing. And my family, let me tell them this. I personally, firmly believe Harry will go anybody, anywhere else, anywhere else than the UK, my family, to live, than where my family, UK tablets are based. Harry will prefer to go anywhere else than my family be around the UK tablet press. I firmly, firmly believe that. You know? My family, and also, it is worth noting that even if someone took drugs, it still, my family, won't bar that person from entering the United States of America. Remember, my family, what happened was that Harry, back in the rough world, in the past, was this, well, my family depressed and did so many wrong things. Things that Chucky Media were happy about because whenever he did something wrong, they would make money from that, my family. You know, they would make money from that. You know, now that Prince Harry is a good husband, a good father, someone who's responsible, they can't stand the man that he is right now. A father, a husband who puts his family first. They can't stand that Harry. They're always daydreaming about Harry becoming a drunk or being a drunkard. Because if he drinks, it means he might end up making a mistake or doing something wrong. And then UK media will have a story. That's all they care about. That's all. That's how they see Prince Harry. And every day I'm thankful that Meghan came into Harry's life. Meghan saved Harry. Let nobody ever tell you otherwise, my family. Because the life that the farm and UK tabloids, my family, want for Harry is not a life of happiness or joy or peace or thriving. They want Harry to fail. And my family, I hope that the farm and UK media never ever succeed. You know? Now my family, Heritage, lost the case. You know, back in September. But they are attempting to overturn the ruling. You know? My family. Whereby they're saying that after the full justification for throwing out the claims was reducted to protect Prince Harry's privacy. Now, my family, in court, it was my family, you know, said that um, Prince Harry would face a stigma. My family. Prince Harry would face a stigma. Let me read you what was said in court. You know, that Prince Harry's immigration records should not be publicly released because of the stigma of being mentioned in a law enforcement record. Now, my family, that has several meanings. It has several multiple meanings, what was said there, my family. But let me remind you of what we found out all learned roughly three years ago. Three years ago, back in 2021, we found out that apparently police were called to Prince Harry Meghan's home in California 
nine times. Nine times. And that officers are called to reports of trespassing, alarm activations, and phone requests. You know, my family, over the years, as the smear campaign against Harry Meghan continues, that number could even be higher, my family. Whereby, three years ago, we found out that police had been called to Harry Meghan's home in California nine times, nine times, you know? And that Santa Barbara's county sheriff's office has responded to calls listed as phone requests, alarm activations, and property crimes since Harry and Meghan moved to their home, my family, Montecito, with their one-year-old son, Archie. And my family, you know, also a while back, three years ago, officers were called four times with one call listed as a phone request and others labeled alarm activations all occurring in the early hours. According to data obtained under freedom of information laws by the Press Association Media News Agency. You know? There was a further alarm call in November three years ago also listed as in quotes, my family, you know, misc, priority, my family, incident. Priority, my family, incident. What does that mean? My family, what does that even, my family, you know, mean? You know, I'm a police officer. For my family, that sounds extremely serious. And all this because of the ongoing hate campaign being waged by the firm and UK media against Harry Meghan. The fact is, Harry and Meghan have been building a life for themselves in the United States of America, a country that they fled to, to seek refuge after UK media spent the time bullying and abusing Harry's wife and son. Where Harry saw what was happening and took Meghan and Archie out of a toxic environment, my family, and then took them first to Vancouver. When they were in Vancouver, the security was stripped. So Prince Harry and Meghan had to act quickly, my family, and they fled to the US. And now UK media, my family, as a proxy, using, using Heritage Foundation as a proxy, is trying to destroy the lives that Harry and Meghan have established for themselves in the US for five years now. My family, I pray and hope that the firm and UK media who are behind this do not succeed. Do not my family succeed. You know? My family also as I, you know, continue. The thing is, all these attacks on Harry and Meghan just reinforce just why Harry and Meghan had to my family flee the UK. You know, my family, 100%. Now, my family, the Department of Homeland Security, you know, lawyers have responded to this challenge from the Heritage Foundation, doubling down on its defense of the handling of Harry's move to the U.S. A filing that has been made to my family, the courts, Red lines in the court. The evidence before the court plainly sufficed to show that heritage speculation of impropriety was unfounded. And that Judge Carl J. Nichols reviewed Prince Harry's immigration records in private without revealing the contents prior to terminating the case. Prior to terminating the case. In September, my family, and that following in camera review of 13 records and also declarations, my family, and also declarations, the court agrees that Prince Harry's privacy, you know, 
I repeat, the court agrees that Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, privacy interest outweighs any public interest and therefore grants defendant's motion for summary judgment. I love that. I love that. I like that. I like that 100%. I like that my family 100%. You know? My family. Now, my family, also, the Department of Homeland Security Lawyers wrote in their latest filing, and I quote, that the public declarations provided the maximum amount of information about the documents without revealing non-public information about Prince Harry's immigration status. Any immigration benefits that he sought or any adverse actions to which he was subject. They argued that heritage, my family, reported evidence of government wrongdoing are not merely to a bare suspicion of government misconduct, which is insufficient to override Prince Harry's privacy interests. I like that. I like that. You know, I, I like the lessons that even UK media are learning on privacy. What privacy means, my family. I like it. I like it. My family, you know, you can be think that because Harry wrote a book, that now my family, he has no right to privacy whatsoever. That's a bunch of lies and the disgusting language of the toxic UK media. You know? Everyone in this world can decide what to share and what not to share. What you aren't willing to share, my family, you have a right that that information that you aren't willing to share should be kept private. My family, Harry, like anybody else, has every right to privacy. You know? My family, and I quote, rather than take these Declarations at face value. The filing continued that the court sought supplemental declarations and other materials that contained facts about Prince Harry's immigration status and entry into the United States. And based on these facts, the court did not find evidence of government impropriety. Even plaintiffs admitted that if the records show that the expected impropriety did not occur, then the case is immediately at an end. My family, then the case is immediately at an end. Even the plaintiffs, even Heritage Foundation admitted that if the records show that the expected impropriety did not occur, then the case is immediately at an end. So why are they pursuing this? They are pursuing this because their friends, their allies in the UK tablet press want them to pursue this. Remember what Harry said about court cases when it comes to the UK tablet media. For example, in uh, Megan's court case versus Daily Fail. Harry told us all that my family, these tabloids like this court case because it's an avenue, a chance for them to get stories. To engage in a fishing expedition. To look for something, for content, for material that can be used for them to only write articles, get clickbait, and exploit Harry and Me Megan family, Harry and Megan's immense influence, and pop you that it's my family. My family, that is exactly what is happening. That, my family, is exactly what is going on. My family, honestly. This just ain't right. This just ain't right. You know? 
This is harassment. Harry and Meghan are being harassed. My family. In the United States of America. By the UK media. Which is using proxies to harass Harry and Meghan in the US. Or because they can't get over the fact that Harry fled the UK. And he took Meghan and Archie with him. And he left with Meghan and Archie. They can't, my family, accept it. You know, my family. When they look at the taxpayer-funded royals that they have in the UK, clearly, UK media are not content with what they have. That's why they're always looking to Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan all the time. My family, they ain't content with what they have in the UK. You know, my family, Harry and Meghan would never have fled the UK if only UK media were not being abusive, racist towards Harry's family, Meghan, Archie, and now also Lily Badana. Harry and Meghan would never have fled the UK. Honestly, UK media are partly responsible for Harry and Meghan fleeing the UK, but they always refuse to my family take accountability for their own actions, for the part they played in Harry fleeing the UK. They refuse to accept that they are to blame. You know, they prefer blaming Megan for her leaving rather than blaming the abuse of Megan. The abuse towards Megan for her leaving my family, for her leaving and fleeing the UK. My family, even if they succeed in pushing Harry out of the US, I believe Harry is happy to go wherever, anywhere else, just not back. To my family where members of the Royal Rota my family are located. You know, you know, I remember watching the Harry and Meghan documentary. Well, by Meghan and Harry, you know, when they were talking about uh, fleeing the UK, they wanted to go to countries whereby the Rota are not based. Anywhere else, New Zealand, my family, was proposed. South Africa. Anywhere else, Vancouver, anywhere else, just not where members of the Royal Rota are located. So my family, what makes tabloids think, even if Harry is deported, that Harry will choose the UK over Vancouver, over New Zealand, over my family in uh, South Africa? What makes them think that Harry will choose the UK over this my family other countries? Because my family, it is clear, Harry and Meghan are happy to go and live anywhere else. That's not my family where members of the Royal Rota are based. You know, my family. And this case needs to completely my family end. My family. You know, but however, it appears that UK media are hoping that Trump will do something about Harry and Meghan. That he'll do something about Prince Harry. That he'll force him out of the US. My family. Keep praying for Harry and Meghan. Keep praying for Harry and Meghan. And uh, we hope the farm and UK media never ever succeed in their evil quests against Harry, my family, Meghan and their kids. In their quest to separate Harry from his wife and children. I hope the UK media and the farm, William and Charles, never ever succeed. So my family, you know, basically my family, on one family is happening right now in this court case. Someone said this. The Department of Homeland Security has clapped back to Heritage Foundation's motion for relief from judges' ruling. You know? And they're saying, that, you know what? Hell no. You have no right to see Prince Harry's visa application. You have no right, family. It's true. They have no right. They have no right. Harry, like anybody else, has a right to privacy. For so long, UK media have been used to intruding on Harry's privacy. Whereby when they see my family, even others, respecting Harry's privacy, my family, Harry's right to privacy, my family, they get, they get so angry, so pissed off. So pissed off because for a long time, they've been used to getting their way when it comes to Prince Harry. They've been used to intruding on Harry's privacy by hacking his phone, my family engaging in a lawful gathering of my family information. They've been used to having William and Charles briefing 
against Harry. My family, UK media, are not, how can I put this? They aren't used to knowing nothing about what Harry and Meghan are doing. They aren't used to my family not knowing. And that's why you are seeing all these uh, tantrums mostly being thrown by the toxic my family UK media. Because Americans don't care about Harry's visa status. They don't care. They don't care. But the UK media do. But the tabloids in the UK do. They're the ones who seem so, so interested in family in this, uh, you know, case by my family heritage. It is also the Daily Express and other British reporters who have gone to Trump, my family himself, to go and ask him to do something about Prince Harry. My family. It is high time UK media stop it with all their threats towards Harry Meghan. It is their fault that Harry Meghan fled the UK. And every time they attack Harry Meghan, they're reminding them just why they fled the UK. And they clearly did the right thing. Trying to force Harry back to the UK will not make him stay with you. It won't. I know that UK media want to see Harry back in the UK, a failure with a tail between his legs. My family, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. For the first time in history, I've always said this, the farm and UK media will not succeed in destroying the spirit's life for the first time in history. My family. You know, Harry has every right to privacy. My family. Also, that is uh, important to my family say. You know, Trump has other, my family, obligations. But UK media just wanted to do one thing for, for them. To force Harry back. Some, somehow, you know, cause Harry Meghan stress. My family. May all the evil plots against Harry Meghan, by the UK media, by Trump, by anyone, by anyone else, be doomed to failure. I believe my family, I have said what I wanted to say. Right now, I want to hear your opinion my family on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Meghan Archie, and also Lily Bedana, my family, and Doria Wagland, and all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you, always not forever, and may no weapon for against Harry, Meghan Archie, and also Lily Bed. Diana and family are prosper. Jack Riston, be content with the taxpayer-funded rules you have in the UK. Leave Harry and Meghan alone. UK media, be content with your taxpayer-funded royals in the UK. Leave Harry and Meghan alone. Let them live and work in peace. My family, please kindly stay tuned to this video. Love you. Awesome forever and may God bless you all. Hello, members of this is Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.